Okay, kita teruskan project investment appraisal. In this time, we see about internal rate of return. What is internal rate of return? The internal rate of return is the annual percentage return achieved by a project. If which the sum of discounted cash inflow over the life of the project is equal to the sum of discounted cash outflows. If IRR is used to determine the NPV or net value of project, the NPV will be zero. Uh, kalau kita pakai IRR, NPV ni akan jadi zero. So kita kena cari lah bila NPV jadi zero, IRR tu semua berapa? So the company will accept this project if only the IRR is equal to or higher than the minimum rate of return of the cost of capital. Okay. The punya calculation procedure, the type of error at present. Uh, find out the discount rate that will give the net present value a zero net present value so kita kena cari NPV equals to zero so kita kena dapatkan discount rate dia apa berapa discount rate yang sepatutnya so <coughs> we already know this equation before you have to minus dengan initial investment then future value investment number of years internal rate of return so you have to change the internal rate of return to get the uh, NPV equals to zero so if the NPV is positive try a higher discount rate in order to get negative so kita akan dapat Positif dan negatif berapa eh, yang value yang untuk IR and then from that kita kena minus untuk dapatkan uh, berapa NPV sama dengan kosong berapa IRR yang diperlukan. So after getting the one positive NPV and one the negative NPV, kita use interpolation to find out the rate giving zero NPV. So, kalau you dah, dah dapat, you dah dapat tu, you kena gunakan this. Uh, one positive, one negative. So, positive will be P, negative will be N, and low is discount rate there in low trial and H is discount rate in high trial and then you can dapat IR, IRR IRR sama dengan berapa untuk NPV sama dengan 0 untuk NPV sama dengan 0 IRR sama dengan berapa ni yang paling penting sekali kita dapat ok so, in evaluating the investment project, the IRR is compared with the management determined rate. IRR, if the IRR lower acceptable rate of return, reject. Lowest acceptable level of return, accept. When it's equals, when PV is equal to zero. Lowest acceptable level of return, accept. Ex highest, accept. If several projects are considered, the highest IRR should be chosen. Okay, kita beri satu example lah. Project cost 400 ringgit, produce a regular cash flow of 200 ringgit at each end of each uh, of the next year, three years. Calculate the IRR if the minimum rate return is 15%. Suggest the reason whether you should accept the project or not. 
So kalau kita tengok tadi Dia kata 200 at each of n So 200, 200, 200 Untuk setiap tahun And then minus the initial investment RM400 And PB sama dengan kosong If you assume 22% You akan dapat And PB dia 8.4 When you assume This discount rate is 24% You akan dapat NPV dia Minus 3.8 So this one Macam zero kat tengah-tengah lah Satu positif, satu negatif Dan kita nak dapat sama dengan kosong Maknanya dia ada di antara ni So we use this equation Untuk get the IR L Equals to 24, 22% And H here is equals to 24% and P tadi dah dapat 8.4 N is negative so this one will be positive lah boleh pass and by this calculation you akan dapat IRR equals to 23.38% and masa ni NPB sama dengan kosong since IRR is 23.3% is higher than minimum rate of return yang diberi ialah 15% so, this project should be accepted. The net present value and NPV proposed is positive 56,000 RM, discount rate 10%, and negative is 28%, 28,000 RM at 20%. What is that? Okay, ni satu lagi ya. Uh, example, latihan. What is the internal rate of return IR of the project? So, kita nak cari NPB sama dengan kosong. So, kita just masukkan 10%. Kalau dia tanya macam ni lah soalan ni. Dengan RM556,000 tadi. Dengan 28,000. So, you akan dapat IR yang dikedaki lah 16 point. 6-7%